Welcome to okay. Welcome to Electron Online and now we're going to do an example in a dependent case where it's a little bit more complicated. So let's say we have eight people in a room, four of the eight people are men, the other four are women. And let's say that two of the men have dark hair, two of the men have light hair, two of the women have dark hair, and two of the men have light hair. So the sample space is a total of eight people in this configuration. Let's say we have four events. A is that we have four women, B, four people with dark hair, C, four people with light hair, and D, four men. But what we're looking for is we're going to draw blindly one person out of the room, or we're going to ask arbitrarily to have one person leave the room, what will be the probability that it's a woman or somebody with dark hair? Since there's an overlap here, and we can say that the probability of women, that would be event A, and the probability of dark hair would be event B. So in this case, we're looking for the probability that A or B will occur. And since it's overlapping, we know the equation. The equation says that the, that, that will be equal to I'll write it here, the probability that A will occur plus the probability that B will occur minus the probability that A and B will occur, where they overlap, where the situation is an overlapping or dependent situation, A and B. All right, let's go ahead and figure out what that is. And let me get rid of this here. All right, so... What is the probability that A will occur? Well, A is the probability that it's a woman. There's four women, and the total, the total outcomes in the sample space is eight. So the probability for A would be four out of eight. So there's four out of eight chances. There's four outcomes that it's a woman, eight total outcomes. So the probability is four divided by eight that it's a woman. Plus B, well, let's see here. We're looking for someone with dark hair. And there are four people that have dark hair, so the probability that someone with dark hair will come out is 4 divided by 8. Now we have to subtract the probability that it's both a woman and has dark hair. And how many are there? Well, there are two, women that are, two people that are women and have dark hair, so there's two possible outcomes there, so minus 2 out of a total of 8 outcomes. So this is equal to 8 minus 2, or 6 out of 8, which is equal to 3 out of 4. So the probability that it's a woman or a person with dark hair would be 3 out of 4. And that's how we use, that's how we find the probability in the case where the, where the outcomes are dependent on one another or have overlap, as we would say it. And that's how we do that.